Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seed. Hey, Carrot Ustros here with realagriculture.com. We are back here today with another corn school episode, and I have here with me Alana Surhan, who is the market development specialist with Pride Seeds based in Winnipeg, Manitoba. How is it going today? It's going really good. Um, a little bit cool here today, but uh, farmers seem optimistic and are happy to hopefully hit the fields uh, relatively soon. That's awesome. Great to hear. So we are here talking today about imbibitional chilling. How is... Uh, I guess, how can you relate that to what's going on with farmers across the prairies right now? Yeah, absolutely. So my message right now as an agronomist to growers is is to keep that seed in the bag until the, the, the soil is fit. Um, and now for some growers, that can be kind of a, a range. Um, what does fit really mean? And essentially, what does it mean when I'm going to be planting into soils that maybe aren't fit? Um, and so an example of that would be impositional chilling. Um, the result of impositional chilling is planting corn in too cold of soils. Uh, so when that seedling imbibes in water and takes in water and starts its enzymatic germination process, uh, if that water, that first drink of water is too cool, uh, there could be negative impacts that are, are uh, essentially seen in the first portion of the growing season that can result in uh, a multitude of things further down the way. So impositional chilling is really... Um, when that soil temperature is not an adequate temperature and it's much cooler, um, that's when that's going to ultimately set in. So for growers, my message is always soil temperature. First and foremost, we need to get a good read on what our soil temperature is. Um, and I, I find it very useful to take soil temperatures throughout the day. What is it like at 6 a.m.? Uh, what is it like at high noon, maybe late afternoon, and then the evening? Uh, if you have a few spaces in the field that you can use to, to kind of probe um, the next most important thing is taking an adequate soil temperature at the right depth. Now for planting corn, we want to be around two inches. Um, so that means we want to be checking our soil temperature at two inches. Um, and as I said, kind of seeing where that soil temperature ranges throughout the day can give us a good idea of what those nighttime lows and daytime highs, um, can essentially do for our corn plant and how that germination process happens. So, when we go into inhibitional chilling um, and that cool first drink of water, that's going to be those temperatures that are below, you know, five degrees Celsius and even lower and cooler. Um, we need that first drink of water to be warm, as I said, and we need it to be at about 10 degrees Celsius. Um, when we get processes that happen in order, um, A, B, C, D, enzymatic processes that help with germination, those things go in a fluid kind of smooth order. Uh, when we get a cold drink of water, it can scramble those processes. It can delay emergence. Um, it can impact uh, root establishment, all things that are crucial in, you know, setting up for success in that first probably um, 24 to 48 hours. So it's really, inhibitional chilling can really hurt you um, as soon as that seedling starts to germinate. And so that's why we're always telling growers it's better in the bag right now anyways. So what what visually does imbibitional chilling actually look like? Yeah, so imbibitional chilling is very easy to spot uh, once that root development has happened. Um, we kind of call it the corkscrewing effect, uh, where those those uh, radical and seminal, or that seminal root package kind of is confused and starts to loop around. And naturally, um, we're supposed to have our roots fall downward. Obviously, that's gravity and our shoots come upward. Um, but that corkscrewing effect of kind of going round and round uh, becomes very visual. And all that time and energy spent below the surface is essentially going to take energy away from getting that plant up and going. And uh, what sort of impacts will the imbibitional ch uh, chilling have within your final yield? Like, what, how, what sort of impacts will that have? Yeah, absolutely. The biggest imp impact from imbibitional chilling is really root mass um, and emergence. Um, so, as I said, it can really impact those seminal roots um, and our other roots that are going to pull uh, water and nutrients from the soil. Um, and so we can see a lot of rootless corn syndrome or, or floppy corn, corn falling over, uh, not being able to have that kind of late season intactness. Um, and if corn plant falls over, uh, farmers definitely aren't going to be happy. And that means it's not going to be going through the combine and into the bin. So 
uh, it's, it's, it's not a good, uh, it's not a good thing to happen. So right now you're saying keep it in the bag if your soil temperatures aren't right. When is it considered too what, too late to be actually getting that silage into the ground? Yeah, no, from a silage perspective, I mean, most growers are quite comfortable planting later into the season. Um, I mean, if that is your number one feed source um, for your cattle, you need to be safe. Um, I have growers here in Manitoba, you know, planting corn, uh, silage corn later into the May the May season, ultimately you just need to have a full understanding of when do you want that corn to be um, grazed? Is it in November? Is it in December? Um, And kind of backtrace that through your, your relative maturity and your accumulation of corn heat units. So as a grower, if you needed to plant um, your silage corn well into May, I'd be confident saying that you may have to graze a little bit later um, than years previous, but that corn crop is going to mature. So, so long as you stick with the right maturity length and don't try and push push the maturity okay awesome anything else you'd like to add no just that uh that soil temperature is crucial um and it only takes 30 seconds to hop out of the truck and uh, get a good read on what soil temperature is and as i said keep it in uh keep the seed in the bag until uh, that soil temperature has raised okay awesome thank you very much awesome thank you